Hello and welcome to Spencer's Library. Today, from a hammock in the countryside, I'm on a mini break. I'm on holiday for three whole days. And um, yeah, I originally wanted to vlog this, but I then decided that you didn't necessarily need to see everything of my life all of the time. So I brought my camera, but then I had the idea of making a video about the topic of reading on holiday because obviously even though I'm only away for three days I brought a couple of books. I've got with me Ken Follett's The Pillars of the Earth which is what I'm currently reading. This is a part of a read-along I'm doing with Andrea from Infinite Text and about I think about 30 or 40 other people and I've also brought Ian Forster Where Angels Fear to Tread and I was thinking about Ian Forster as my holiday read because I always seem to take one of his books with me when I go somewhere and that's not true because I've been on a lot of holidays and there's only six Ian Forster novels and I've only read four of them but the last one I read which was Howard's End I took with me when I went to visit my parents in Germany last year and that again reminded me of how I connect books with holidays very strongly so when I read a specific book on holiday then that holiday will be linked with the memory of this book and with my recollection of this book. So Howard's End will forever be linked to going to visit my parents in April of last year. And it wasn't a very good time. I went there just after my grandmother had died. So it's not like all of my memories of the book are super happy, but they are inevitably connected to reading that book. I also remember holidays uh, as a child where my parents would take me and my brother to visit their parents in Italy. Also, it seems like my holidays seem to consist mainly of visiting other relatives, but I'm sure that's, that's not a unique experience. So uh, I remember holidays in Italy, visiting my grandparents and my various aunts and uncles, and we'd always go in the car, very long car journey, about, about 20 to 24 hours, depending on traffic. And my brother and I were allowed to pack exactly one book each because the car was full of all sorts of other things, mainly German chocolates to bring the relatives. And so my brother and I would select very, very carefully. Obviously big books were better and they had to be books that both my brother and I would read. So then we could pick two books and then we could kind of ration the books out and swap them. Uh, mostly what we picked was uh, German children's and young adult historical fiction author Rainer M. Schröder who we both enjoyed so we usually got his books in there as well as Harry Potter. I have vivid memories of reading Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix on a very long, very very long holiday to my grandparents and the thing about villages in South Italy is there isn't much to do there so books became a really prized possession, a, 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 a resource really, that you had to ration out. So a lot of the time I would read chapters twice from The Order of the Phoenix. I, I wouldn't allow myself to progress to the next chapter until I'd read the previous chapter twice, just to make the book last a bit longer. Now I'm an adult and I can pack as many books as I like and there's also the wonderful invention of the Kindle e-reader where you can take many, many books with you and it only takes up as much space as a single book. So yeah, I wish, I wish I'd had those as a child. So today I decided to start Where Angels Fear to Tread. Now I don't know if you can see this. It's uh, actually, it looks rather nice in the picture. It's a fairly mild day, but mild in the UK doesn't mean warm. Hey kitty cat. There's two cats here on this, uh, in this cottage where we are staying. One of them's really friendly, the other one's really shy, and the shy one's just come up here. Oh, I think he wants our breakfast. Hello. Oh, you are a friendly little kid. Shame you can't see him. Him? Her? Huh? I don't really know. So I've picked Ian Forster again because the memories of his books are so connected with holidays to me. I read Morris when I was a teenager on holiday, again in Italy. Most of my holidays as a child were in Italy because visiting relatives. 
and um, Morris isn't one of the holiday novels of Ian Forster, but quite a few of his other books seem to be set in other places, in warmer places, or they just have a general holiday feel to them. This one including, because this one seems to be set in Italy. Uh, another Ian Forster novel that is set in Italy is uh, Room with a View. That's partly set in Italy and partly set in England. So if you are on a holiday and you want a little bit of holiday classic literature, then definitely pick up some Ian Forster. I am very much looking forward to diving into this book and to having the memory of this really short two-night holiday uh, connected to this little book forever in my mind. The other funny thing about this holiday is we're actually only 20 minutes away. <laughs> 20 minutes away from my home. This, this was mainly a budgeting decision because when you when you go on holiday you have two costs to consider travel and accommodation and we decided to just cut out the travel part and here we are in a beautiful beautiful little cottage in the middle of the Welsh countryside I hope you can hear anything I say because it is quite windy and there's birds everywhere making noise how do I end this video yes Tell me about your holiday reads. Tell me about which books you connect with, which trips. How do you select your holiday reading? Do you particularly pick long books, short books, books that you can start and finish within the holiday? Do you pick books for your journey? Unfortunately, I get super, super travel sick. I mean, really ridiculously car sick. So I can't read in the car. I can't look at my Kindle in the car. I can't even take my phone out for long enough to play an audiobook in the car. Uh, so that is not an option for me. Uh, I tend to go for two different types of reading on holiday. One is a book that I've already started because I know that I'm enjoying it, so it's not going to be a disappointment. And a new book that I specifically select to be connected in my mind to that holiday. So yeah, let me know about your holiday choices. I have nothing planned for these next few days except to read. I'm going to take this little book to the beach with me. I'm going to take this little book to see a little town near here. And I'm going to do a lot of reading in this very hammock. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.